pleasure to be around. Um, then you got the couple on the other side, right? Paris and Hunter. Um, I got New ball. beat by Hunter game last one. tournament in singles, so I know Time what in. he can bring to the table. Zero, zero, and, uh, two. This should be a pretty fun game. Yeah, Paris is very good. Underrated, I find. And of course, Point. first ball sails long. It's the Utah Curse. One, zero, two. And Side out. Another ball long. And a serve long. Yeah, it's just going to be one. Yeah. Playing out, at altitude out here. This is after another. Zero, one, this one. Is the, the things you're dealing with with different tournament sites. And Augie Second anticipated third. where that ball was going perfectly. He was right there, but still hit it off the edge of his paddle. Sailed over into the crowd. Zero, one, two. Wow. Point. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> one, one, two. Took over in the middle, but Etta and Augie were up to the task. Both had some amazing resets, mm. uh, but Hunter just kept plugging away. And finally, was able to get a miss. One, out of one, one. Second, I third. see nothing. <laughs> Ball sails a little long. You see behind Augie over there. You get. One, one, two. About eight to ten Arizona guys supporting him. Great oh, nice. to see. Nice. And that Point. ball just missed. Again, I can't see it because it's behind the monitor, but Hunter put a finger away in the air there to make it clear that, that was out. Two, one, two. One of their Side strategies up. here is to try and attack Etta coming, uh, unwinding the stack there. So she's coming from behind one, Augie, two, one. a big body. And then all of a sudden seeing a ball coming at her from a drive. Wow. Second serve. Really powerful volley, two-hander that Hunter hit. And then he hit a really nice overhead too, that just impossible to get. And by the time he hit it as well, he was almost over on Paris' sideline, and she, of course, got out of the way in plenty of time, knowing that Hunter would come over and take that ball. One, two, two. speed ups to Augie are not the best idea. Um, Augie, at, two, two, Augie two. created his own device at home to actually work on fast hands. Um, not only does that show his <laughs> brilliance, but his his dedication for that. But yeah, beating him off the bounce is not the easiest thing. Got you. Side and up. he caught him on that too, right? I mean, Augie had his, you know, seemed like he was favoring his backhand a little bit and somehow still got his forehand over there quickly enough to two, two, one. get his paddle on it. Point. Did that sail long? Or did it drop it, in? It, it sailed a little long again. Point. Yeah, that's crazy. But we've had eight balls Three, two, one. so far here, right? Gone uncharacteristically long. Second serve. So caught Hunter cheating middle there a little bit, and he almost still made an ATP 
while basically three, two, the two. back of the court right towards us. Side that one stayed in. Yeah, there are those hands from Augie. We're going to see a lot of that today. Hunter a little bit disappointed in himself that he didn't put in a little bit better spot. To put Two, three, up. one. Yeah. Oh, points. Just short again. Yeah, got you. Yeah, I, but just from my view there, I thought it was in, but I can never call those sideline balls. Yeah, no, I can see three, it on the three, one. there. They're clearly out. Second serve. ATP cover. ATPs in the old days, it was you won the point. Now people cover it. It's just, you know, it's almost. Not only do they cover it, they hit winners. Right, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. Three, three, two. Well, Zane, point. Navarro was talking yesterday about hitting intentional ATPs because of today's, you know, uh, four, counter three, two countering the ATPs, you're pulling somebody so wide off the court that, of course, you put them in a vulnerable position. And point. Paris got to walk away. Coming to you. So Time in. Etta and Augie Five, three, two. with a two-point lead to start the first game. Point. And they caught Paris just slightly there on the unwinding of the stack, and I think that gave him just the slight enough edge Six, three, to two. Uh, win the point. Side out. And great shot there. Put had a just slight difficulty there, such that she popped the ball up just a little bit. Other than that, she's playing amazing. She's doing her best. Three, six, Elise one. Jones impersonation that we saw in the last match where she's basically resetting everything beautifully. Point. And a rare miss there from Augie, as I'm sure Danny can confirm. Yeah, usually when I play Augie, he misses all the time. Um, Four, I put six, just one. so much pressure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He makes me miss 24-7. He's right now up there for best player in Arizona, just absolutely Point. dominating every game that he plays. He's just so consistent. You know, Zach Silvernail behind Augie right now. Um, you'll see him back there in a purple shirt next to Kyle Kazuda. Five, six, one. Um, he may be the only pe person that beats Augie consistently. Wow. So, yeah. Ooh. Second, sir. I don't know if that was a body bag there or not, but it was close. Uh, Etta fooled Hunter, who's actually been playing amazing, I think, as well. And it's uh, Five, six, reset two. a lot of difficult balls and had nice counters and putaways. Side out. And she had it. It was a nice poach by Paris, but she just hit the tape. And it was going to be tough, too, because that was going to be at Augie, I think, obviously, who was ready for it. And Hunter and Paris talking a little strategy. Six, five, one. And she flashes in the switch signal, so she'll be moving to the other side. Beautiful shot there. Nice Second, sir. I really, go behind I really um, give them a lot of credit Six, for five, playing two. together. It's very tough to play with a significant other, as many people at home may agree with. Um, very, very difficult, especially in high pressure situations. Um, they are probably the best on tour that I've seen. Very good communication, um, very supportive of each other. Yeah, I would agree. Of course, Matt and Lucy have been playing together seven, almost five, since I started playing seven years ago in tournaments. And uh, they seem to get along really well out there. Side well. out. 
And so here's our duper head-to-heads, and similar to last time where we had an identical uh, duper total, we've got very close things with a very slight edge being to Etta and Augie. And Five, seven, duper one. gives them a 60% win percentage. Uh, a nice Second reset start. by uh, Paris there, but Hunter was cheating over to cover middle because Paris slid Five, to seven, the right. two. And so that left the court open behind him. Oh. And Side up. that one too. We're, we're at our angle of Hunter hitting that shot, you know, he had it, especially if he'd have let it go just a little bit more, but he put it, you know, probably at least seven, six five, one. Wide. Second, sir. Really nice resets by Paris. They're on two tough balls that basically came inside her body. 7 5 2. Wow. Point. Yeah, so consistent so far. Um, allowing Augie to do what Augie does, but also making a ton of balls. Being very consistent. Nine, she does five, have two, two miss serves. We'll pay attention to that, but all good. Side up. Some fans here are confused about when's a good time to move from spot to spot. Five, nine, one. Point. Did that stay in? It <laughs> did. I mean, that's wow. an incredible shot by Hunter. Etta leaves the ball, hoping it is going to. Etta's on her knees now, looking for the ball under the carpet over there. You can see it in the far up, upper right hand corner of your screen. And somebody in a blue volunteer shirt there is trying to help her. We just might need and to we've figure got out how to block those, <laughs> just those couple little areas. Man, I just I can't see it happening. Six, nine, one. Point. Wow, another really nice angle on the ball. Seven, nine, one. Ungettable. Second, sir. Just a copious amount of unforced errors from Hunter Johnson. It's yeah, I know he wants that one back. And it was a good timeout, too, because they came back. They got a couple points. Seven, nine, two. And they hit a nice serve there that kept Augie on the uh, opposite side that he likes to be on. Paris left that up just a little bit high, and that's all you have to do, especially Augie's a tall guy, and so those guys are able to reach their paddles into the kitchen, you know, close to Nine, the net seven, almost. One. So if you leave it up high at all, it's a dangerous proposition. Second serve. Really nice deep volley from Hunter. Nine, seven, two. And there's that off the bounce speed up again. Um, I could coach most people to how not to play against Augie. I don't always know how to play against Augie. But, you know, that off the bounce speed up is very, very difficult against him. It gives him a lot of time. Side out. Hunter went for it there, took a chance because obviously both of them were on the right hand side. So if they're able to reset that and go behind both Paris and Hunter, that point's over. I like Hunter just, you know, 
taking a little risk here. <laughs> you know, if it turns Seven, out a different ten, way, we one, might have a different one, conversation, one. but right. I like that play. No, I do too, especially at this point. I think we gotta try and make something happen. Oh, that was interesting there. Paris was all the way over on the other side, knew that Hunter wanted to be on that side, so she had time to shift over back hey, to the regular one. spot. Gets it bounce, he catches he gets it. Yeah, it's gonna happen every he once in a while. Time out, receiver. It's summer in Arizona. Time in. You don't play outside. <laughs> Nine, ten, Even one. Jordan now escapes Arizona in the summer. Second just serve. Bad luck there. Plus, I'm not sure you want to attack if he's gonna hit that drive. He wants to hit it to at a not Nine, ten, straight two. on. Point. I think Etta was almost considering whether she might have an ATP there and then changed her mind and that caused her to miss that rare miss for her. Very few unforced errors, ten, ten, two. Danny pointed out earlier. Sign out. Similar to what Hunter's been trying to do with Augie, Paris tried to do the same thing with Etta there, and Etta said, I want to see you against that paddle. You do not want to speed up off the bounce. Ten, ten, one. The connected uh, counter is going to go hard. Point. Game well, having point. said that, though, it's a 10 10 game here. So yeah, 11, 10, 11 10 game point just now. So. Um, We've got a barn burner, as yeah, my yeah. friend Rusty used to 11, say. 11, 10, 1. Oh. Point game. Time out, That's got to be frustrating for Paris and Hunter, because the people are Utah game Open in Utah, where the Salt Palace sounds better than it is. Basically a giant Time warehouse in. here at Convention Center. Zero, zero, two. Starting game two. Side out. And Etta there goes for a little attack on Paris. And Paris gets to do a little payback and was helped zero, zero, one. by Colin John's favorite shot, the let ball winner. Speed up there by Paris. Zeal 1 2, reloads and puts the ball away. 1 0 1. Second that serve had a funny bounce, I think, yeah? Yeah. Kind of a, a great return for 1 0 Royce 2. Web. Sure, you've seen that before. That Augie high backhand. Zero, coming one, in. one. Yeah. Wow. Second serve. Great play by Paris. I have nightmares about that that big left hand from Augie. Um, I've lost a lot of sleep over it. Yeah, I think he stretched, you know, a little bit. You could see as he was Zero, going across one, there, like. He better make a good shot off this or he's way out of position. And he didn't get the kind of wood on it that he was hoping. Wow. Point. <laughs> that. And you've seen that shot before too. I yep. Think. That was a beauty. Head up on the right. For all your fantasy football lovers out one, there, one, two. Augie might be like the Jamar Chase. He's on the scene now, and he's not going to leave for a while. Um, he's an unbelievable player. And honestly, he's not even anywhere close to his ceiling. So um, 
that's that's for those fantasy football lovers what, that what, what? To, to see where Augie really is in his career. Nice. And you were talking about Ed Wright being the nicest person in pickleball. Augie's got to be a close second. I've, I have had some interactions with him, and he's just a super, super nice guy. Yeah, Augie is an amazing person, very smart, intellectual. Uh, Augie. And uh, I, I, I did say before they played, I was at dinner with Augie last night, and I said uh, they might have the nicest you team use the one? that's ever been in pickleball. Wow. Um, I'm trying to come up with another team that might have been nicer. You might have Vivian, David, right. and Thomas Wilson to compete with. True, but true. And this Good team point. is right up there with them. So. so one of the balls disappeared again, and they had to get a new one, and Paris and Hunter didn't like it. I'm not sure whether it was out of Two, one, to begin one. with or whether they wanted a used ball. From the shine on the ball. Second, sir. I'm not sure that's where Hunter expected the Paris' shot to go because he went all two, the way one, middle two. and it was an easy shot to catch behind him. Yeah. Ooh, that was a beauty. Uh, it was a, a, a let ball created an ATP and it gave Hunter one of the easiest ATPs you'll ever he'll ever get because it was right by the net, so all he had to do was Three, put one, it two. in the court. Oh, she got him. Yeah, Hunter's really cheating really far over in the middle there, and so that made him susceptible on that one to an attack that went behind him, and in fact, that would hit him on the, the left side of his body. One, three, one. His left hip. Point. At a right, starting to insert a little bit more dominance here, um, making Two, her three, presence one. be felt. Um, you know what, though? Like, the girls on the, in this game are two of the best in the world, so that's kind of not shocking necessarily. There we go. Second, sir. Yeah, it looks like they've had a rough start, but it's only th their head is still 3 2, so got to look at the scoreboard sometimes. Two, three, two. Yeah. Point. And we may get our first challenge. My view was blocked. Did you see it? Watching it on the replay here. He did not see. Challenging the alcohol. Ooh. Yeah, right. that was close. That was close. Well, well, so we are going to get a challenge. We if, have if, a Augie, if Augie, if Augie, uh, the alcohol, the alcohol puts us at three, three, two. Okay, this. We'll proceed with video review. Um, we're not in really like the this. The angle from behind is not the best angle, but is the ball bouncing right there? Right. Oh, it's it's hard to it's hard to know exactly where the ball bounces. So. One of the best referees in the game, Onisha, is right next to us, and she's checking it out with us. And this is a tough one because you can't, I don't know if there's a frame that shows where the ball actually lands. You're on the back side of the, so, uh, I don't you're on the back side of the line. It's like, it's so difficult. I don't envy her call on this, and I have no idea what she'll you do. You almost got to prove that it's in, and that's just too hard to prove that it's in. Um, I would argue, I think that she might, Stay, if they have to stay with the call, that's my guess. Tournaments are a fun and exciting way to grow your game, connect with other players, and stay active in the welcoming pickleball community. Whether you're a seasoned player or looking to try your first tournament, we have a place for you. For sure. For sure. Augie would never do no, This team is pretty fair. <laughs> Point. He tried, but that ball was just in the wrong spot off the net. Oh, wait. That, I'm just, again, I couldn't tell that ball. It, stayed in, it just stayed in, in the back. Just, I think Point that's why three, Hunter two. was a little frustrated. He goes, oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, that's crazy. There's nothing I hate more than that. 
hit a great shot, they get lucky, it just drops in, you can't even have a chance to get it. Ooh. Okay. But Side out. The luck, the karma, not the karma, that's not the correct word, he doesn't deserve any bad karma. But the, the luck Three, evened four, out one. there, let's say that. Wow, that was beautiful points. Great saves by both Etta and Augie on that. And in the end, it caught four, up. 4 4 1. On that last point, Etta had made serve. a nice get right close to the net. And of course, as soon as you do that, you're trying to get out of the kitchen as fast as possible because you cannot hit a volley until four, both four, feet two. are beyond the kitchen line. She made a really great save off the first one. Side out. And Hunter looks like he, he you know, indicating a bad bounce. I didn't mention this before, but Augie's playing with four, his four, signature one. paddle from Vatic right now. Um, awesome Arizona colorway. Um, and you know, Maddox has supported him tremendously from the very beginning. And, Point. Uh, this is uh, the new paddle that will, I'm not sure when it's released or if it's released yet. But uh -huh. uh, yeah, Augie Five, with four, the new what? Maddox. Well, hopefully it's at least USAPA approved. I think all they did was change the design on it. It was the previous paddle. Point. So that's, uh, I ah, think it was very easy for them to get the gotcha, design gotcha. approved. Nice, yeah, well that's been an issue lately, right? As far as what's, what what you're changing on the paddle. Six, so I, four, I, I one. I probably shouldn't get started on a broadcast. I uh, I think everybody's, you know, Second doing what they gotta do to, to be the best and um, without paddle innovation, I think, um, or Six, without innovation four, in general, a lot of things go downhill. So I like seeing people pushing the limits and it comes down to the governing bodies to put limits, right? So um, right now, they're, you know, doing what they got to do, and uh, you got to respect Point. what they're doing. And everybody's trying to work through the little kinks that there are, but it's it's nothing that anybody's. I know a lot of players are a little bit frustrated, but it's something that we're working through. And seven four two. Every new sport goes through these growing pains, and I think it's just part of the journey. Oh, beautiful Side out. Hunter looks down. I always tell people, I, don't look down. Football. Oh, they call the footfall. Oh, he's going to challenge for sure. He's going to challenge. Let's see okay. if they have a timeout. So yeah, I couldn't are. quite tell on the replay. Point. Challenge. Not a bad time because this is, even if they lose this right. challenge, um, yeah, it would be a good time. Referee timeout. timeout. They do we have, have a challenge of the referee's football call. Football call. We'll okay. put us at 8 4 2. We'll proceed with video review. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, I, th I think they gotta, they got to confirm the call there because they're just not... Well, that's second speed up there. It's, you didn't see the heel it's, there. It's, it's tough because the bottom... I'm pretty sure the bottom of his shoe has blue, has a blue sole. So it's tough to know if that's... Thomas and Vivian, you've just been Tiny. dethroned. Uh, this is now Four, the nicest seven, team one. in pickleball. But if you actually miss a serve on purpose, it is a technical. Ah. Like if you don't try to make it in. So you have to kind of make it look like you're trying to. So somehow the ref did let them just take that point, right? Yeah. Second, sir. I, you know, you. Four, seven, two. Huge Point. serve from Hunter. He did that a lot yesterday on his run to the semifinals and singles. Five, seven, two. So that call could be huge there, right? Whether they got it right or not, because all of a sudden now, instead of eight, four, it's seven, five. Oh, was that Side a let out. ball? Let cord into the back corner. Yeah. 
Um, I'm not sure she would have got it anyway. She looked like she was out of position, but it didn't help. Definitely didn't help. Zane Navratil says Seven, five, that ball one. only helps a good shot. Second serve. Hunter says, hey, I can counter too. Just an absolute monster of a pancake right there. 7-5-2. Side out. They held him, so it's still a two-point game here. They're right in it. Five, seven, one. So ATP I there. may argue with Zane okay. that <laughs> that court made that one a little bit of a worse shot. <laughs> Five, seven, two. <laughs> it did. But it did. that's okay. I'll give Zane the benefit of the doubt. I may not be quoting him. Let's just pretend correct. like you are. Okay. Just I can do that. Yeah. Side out. I think he actually says a let ball only helps a good shot or something. Seven, five, one. Uh, I'll figure it out. Second serve. She's shaking her head there. I'm not sure whether she's upset with herself or just felt like she got a bad bounce. Seven, five, two. Side out. This one's staying close as well. This, uh, you know, 5-7 on the one. Um, great hold there because, you know, if you let that go 8-9, it's going to be another uphill battle like you had last game. Yeah, totally agree. Second so, off-bounce speed-ups towards Augie. Not the best idea, off-bounce speed-ups towards Augie from mid-court, probably also Five, not seven, a good two. idea. So let's give Hunter his credit. Maybe off-bounce speed-ups towards Hunter, also not the best idea. And he had a beautiful decision there at one point. Uh, they had him back at the baseline, and instead Head of trying right. to reset one, he actually drove it low, and it dipped over the net, and it got them back up to the, to the line, serving. which even allowed him to um, be attacked there. Have a beautiful Six, seven, two. Side out. Justin. Paris wears it as well. Hunter is going Seven, six, on one. trial. And Second serve. Just a little bit too high. Not sure she's done that yet today until now. Seven, six, two. So they've been stuck on seven for what seems like yeah, an eternity. Yeah, they, they take this, um, 
they take that time out before they start and just trying Six, to get kind of like that, shake it out of them. But Hunter and Paris playing great right now. Um, have them stuck on the seven. Points. Wow. So it's all tied up. I like the way Hunter's playing right seven, now. Seven, seven, one. Very confident. Um, you know, he's one of my favorite people also on tour. Just great dude. And, um, makes the game look a little bit easier than it is sometimes. Oh. Second up. <laughs> or harder than it is. You just <laughs> jinxed that guy right there. Um, yeah, I know he wants that one back. Seven, I seven, two. Back. Wow. Oh. Point. And now Augie misses a similar ball there. Now he did have to stretch there, so it wasn't quite the same easy shot that Hunter had Eight, on the seven, previous two. point. But still, a shot he makes 10 out of nine times. Point. That one must have sailed just long. And Hunter's yes, holding up out. six inches. I don't think it was six inches, but. Nine, seven, two. Beautiful Sign volley up. there. You know, Augie's had a, a tough couple points here. Um, so I would like to see him just kind of make a few balls, get back in the rhythm before he takes another chance. Uh, it could be key seven, right nine, here, right? One. Seven, nine. Yeah, I mean, they definitely need one point. Second serve. Because one of the problems is here, they're constantly having to unstack now that they're on seven when they're returning. And that creates, you know, seven, extra nine, difficulty. Two. Points. And there it is, so we finally got an eight. Yeah. That's a big point right there, just kind of eight, get nine, them out, out of that funk. Yeah. Side out. Awesome right now. Playing big in the middle. Ed made another beautiful reset there, but not enough to keep him in the point. Yeah. Nine, eight, one. I mean, Second serve. Wow. That's that, those hands from Aki right there are just unbelievable. Yeah, because Ed made another uncharacteristic. You know, Nine, eight, so Hunter hits a good spot on that too. Um, just too good, honestly, at that point. Yeah, yeah. Well, as you know, all, Game all points. good players are able to bring that backhand across to where their forehand would normally be and make some Ten, good eight, gets. Two. And I believe that's what he did on that one, yeah. Game point here. Side up. And they were able to keep them back on the baseline there. And All right, 10-8, a few chances to get back in this. Hey, 10 what? Yeah, I feel like they got to do it here. Point. All right, that court's help. Yeah, that's really bad luck, especially with Hunter and Paris being down a game, right? They need the luck to go their way here, hoping to crawl back in it, and push for a third game. Nine, ten, one. Second serve. Harris had an awkward volley there and made a good shot out of it. Nine, ten, two. Hunter came over. Forced them to make a good shot. Back from Augie. 
ball probably going long, but so, he, hit it, he hit it hard. And I play with a buddy of mine all the time who's a lefty, Jim Jenkins, and I just, I never put the ball in that spot or try not to where his left has these lefties uh, with their forehand in the middle. They can take yeah, the ball from up. low, somehow get a bunch of top spin on it, come yeah. right back at you or just make a good shot and attack the left side of the ten, court. Ten, two. And that's exactly what he did there. It gave me nightmares. Side up. So I know for a fact Etta does not whiff on a lot of balls. Yeah. Just going to throw that one out there. 10, 10, 1. Yeah, I, I was playing here yesterday on an outer court and completely missed a backhand return. Second serve. In that 10, 10 right now. You know, what two, two good games. Like, first game was 12, 12, 10. This one, 10, right 10, on two. pace. Side out. Bad luck there. Again, a shot that Hunter's going to make 10 out of 9 times. 10, 10, 1. Second serve. So the Arizona crew for the end of this game has accumulated even more people even behind those seats back there. Another 10 people. Is that? I think that's 10, a violation. 10, <laughs> Side out. And so that's two balls in a row there where Augie's tried to poach middle. Yeah. And it I didn't work. I don't, I don't necessarily love that poach, um, mainly because you're doing so well at the kitchen ten, line ten, against one. these guys that that's kind of almost unneeded. Yeah. Big ball. Point. Big ball. Game point. Game point again. Get kind of like a good Time in. Game point. Let's see what happens. 11, 10, 1. I'm with you. So a little point put game, it away. Out, game point. Great play by Paris there. Um, and we're heading to game three. Look at that, 12-10, 10-12. Uh, what, what an awesome, awesome game. Wow. Uh, to get good New games ball, in all game the time. Three. And time then in. beyond that, zero, zero, beyond those 20 players, there's another 100 players that you can get a great game with at any time. It's, it's just a haven for pickleball um, at the highest level. And uh, what? And I think, sorry, I just want to make Side sure that out. play was called correctly. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's a haven in, in pickleball out there. And then for every level, you've got hundreds, if not thousands of players in the Scottsdale, uh, Phoenix area. And we have another ball search going it's on. It's not back here. Maybe you can go help them there. A volunteer coming back. They did just start the game, so it's going to be a new right. ball. So I don't know why they don't just sub Oh, they in. found it. They, I think. Uh, and by the way, on that point, it appeared that they call the ball out and then change their call. Which is only right, given what happened with uh, Augie and Etta. Zero, zero, one. They gave up a point on the uh, Ernie challenge. Second serve. Goes just long. And it's been a while since we mentioned the Utah altitude factor here. Zero, zero, and two. That may have played a role in that one there, just to carry it a little bit longer. Wow. <laughs> Those gets are unbelievable. Yeah, they really are. You yeah. know, we keep talking about Augie's defense, but you have Paris and Hunter over here making making some of the hardest shots look easy. So. Um, One, zero, two. No shy of skill on either side of the court right now. Beautiful. Side out. Her, uh, Hunter moved the ball around there really nicely and finally put it in a spot that 
nobody could get to. Zero, one, one. Wow. Second, sir. And that's a beautiful shot that Hunter hit there, but as we've talked about many times, Augie's just Zero, one, two. sitting on it, and it's helpful, too, for uh, the fact that he's a left-hander, right? So his backhand's on that side. Side out. And they're working Etta over there, and she's up to the task. One, zero, one. Second, sir. Put it in the perfect spot. One, zero, two. Point. Two, zero early in game uh, number three. Obviously, two, zero, two. the games. Just kind of trying to find rhythm here in the second game, a little bit of or third game. Trying to find, settle your nerves. Um, Point. Obviously don't want it to get too out of hand, switching at six, so. That looked like Three, ball zero, that might two. have sailed long. That Hunter got a paddle on. Yeah. Side out. So. Some good luck there. They had a scramble to try and get back over to her side of the court and, uh, or excuse me, to Augie's side of the court. Zero, three, one. Could not get the floater that landed just Amazing in. get by Paris. She snagged that one from Augie. Second serve. And that Ernie was successful. Well, the other one was successful too. Or is it Bert even? Bert. Uh, but boy, he got some good action on that one. Zero, three, two. Some really Point. nice dinks by Paris Todd. They're getting some really nice topspin on those balls, which are actually set up. I love that ball by Hunter, too. Just like One, three, two. not a lot of power, rolling it through the middle. Side out. Beautiful ball. Followed by Miss Sir. Well, at least they got one point there. I felt like it was important for them to at least get one point. Three, one, one. And if they can hold them as they did so often last game, they're right back in it. Level 7.0 resets, but couldn't get the fourth one. Crowds are Four, noticeably one, larger one. here today, if you see in the background. Second serve. And Augie does not miss those shots very often. Four, one, two. Wow, it's a beautiful Point. drive by Ed. Yeah. That thing came over the net and just dropped. Like Time out, receiver, split, five, one, two. Split finger fastball. This service iteration are gonna make it tough. They don't wanna go Time in. switch sides. Five, one, two. Down six, one. Ah, 
Side out. A little net love there on perhaps Take a those when you can get them. Ill advised yeah, the speed feeling. up by Paris there, but it worked out. One five, one. Point. And again, that's, we were talking about this before, at least I was, when you come off, you're trying to unwind the stack there, it's tough to do. And so Edda had to, had to come from behind. Augie did not hit the Two, volley five, that she wanted to, left it a little bit high, and Hunter put it away. Yeah. Oh. Sec second serve. So Hunter thought it was in. Obviously, he's accepting I now think, that it was I think, out. I think he gave a quick little yes to try to get two, that five, one, two. called out. I've seen that before. Nice. Point. It's great if you watch these mixed doubles team. And you'll see a ball that, if we're playing rec play, it'd be clearly Paris's ball, right? But she doesn't even go near it, even though it's Three, five, at two. least halfway on her side of the court. Knows that Side out. Take it. And as we say in rec games all the time, same guy, same guy. Hit an amazing Five, three, shot one. point before, and then this is an easy third. Point. Time. Right now, you obviously got to the turn on time. Um, in. In the lead, but you gotta you gotta Six, hold that three, lead. One. You gotta push it even further right now. Yeah. Wow, beautiful shot by Second Paris. Serve. Just kind of snuck one in, and also off speed a little bit. So I think it uh, fooled Etta. Six three two. And she couldn't react to it like she wanted to. Point. Tough luck cord there. I yeah, was frustrated. Little bad luck both yeah, ways. He's sitting on a sitting on a ball. Seven three two. Very tough. Side out. Edda wants that one back. I thought I was gonna about to like make like a true prediction where it's gonna go eight three. I was gonna start bragging on <laughs> you know on the feed, but uh, I was wrong. Just slightly off. Only fifty percent off. I mean, she had the ball to put it away. I was, I was a, f a high forehand from Edda away from Three, seven, one. acting like I was very smart. Yeah. Well, obviously they're Point. under pressure regardless here, right? I mean, this is it. They've got to win this game. They've got to come back here, and so. Four, seven, one. Oh. Point. Not sure what happened Too there. Did you serves. see a bad bounce uh, or anything? It's hard to know. I know for a fact. Timeout, receivers. Five, I know seven, for one. a fact, Augie does not whiff a lot of balls, and neither does Etta. So, but it's always possible. Yeah, good serves. So they're going to try and stop the bleeding, and we'll take a short break here while they take a timeout, and we'll come back here to the Pickler Utah Open. Unless we don't. <laughs> All right, I guess we're going to stay here, and we'll watch the refs in their position in the middle. Any of you refs out there know whether that's in the handbook that you must stand at center court during all timeouts? Because it's something they do, very interesting. So I think it's a good timeout here, right? They gotta break up the momentum a little bit and obviously they they each missed a service return, 15 is that seconds. correct? So yeah. One timeout, one timeout. That's time something out. you definitely wanna reset. So they were a no, high forehand, the they were a high forehand from Etta away from 8-3. And now it's kind of a little bit come back to yeah. haunt them at 7-5. So uh, this was the Time exact in. same score in game two. 5-7-1. Uh, we know that Hunter and them ended up taking game two. So uh, we'll see kind of what happens here. Just out, just out, floated out. Yeah, similar to the last game, we'll remember that uh, Ernie challenge that was uh, successful, sort of turned Five, the seven, two. around. Wow, 
They both covered Side that up. middle ball there. I'm not sure who actually hit it. Yeah, I think Augie hit it. Um, you know, another ball off the bounce. Seven, I would five, tell people one. maybe don't do that, but, you know, if you get away with it, sometimes it encourages you to do it more. Right. Frustrated yeah, that one hurts. That one hurts because you had a big ball to put away the first one. Augie gets an incredible get, and you overswing on the next ball. Hey, five one. Wow, beautiful. Point. Wow. Again, remember, pickleball change. Nine five two. Pretty successful. Bad luck there, jammed Etta, but she was still able to get good wood on it, and yeah, it just we, dropped in. And we've got our first Ten, match five, point two. of the game. Oh. Side up. And they got a little net love back there, so they live to fight another day. That was match point, obviously, so now it's 5-10. They really need to get a couple points here. Ball down to the feet there by Etta, so um, Hunter had to come up on the ball. Five, ten, two. Uh, very easily, if that goes up, it's a put away, so. Yeah. Side out. So they match hold him off, and we got our second match point of the game. Augie serving over to Hunter. Also makes it more difficult because Hunter and Paris ten, are on five, the switch one. right now. Great. Second serve. Match point. 10 5 2. Oh, oh man. Point game match. Great Not get by hard. You know, what a match. Fun to commentate. 11 5 final in the third. Uh, Augie, Gah, and uh, Etta Wright take it.